Hello, and welcome to a quick video on using the NBRGB combination script, which can allow you to bring a master narrowband and master RGB uh, images together into one final image. I am going to go quick. I'm not going to spend time with DBE. I'm not going to do uh, photometric color calibration. I highly recommend you do those on your RGB image before combination. But we're going to just do quick and dirty. I've got my images stretched with the screen transfer function unlinked. The automatic background extractor with function degree 2. This is my personal preference, subtraction, discard background, replace target. So we're going to extract the background on RGB, control A, auto stretch. Um, this is where I would do the photometric color calibration, but it just takes too long. Now we're going to do a little bit different with the narrowband data. This is taken with L Extreme. I am going to use pixel math and extract um, HA and O3. So HA is your red, which is target image channel zero. Create a new image called HA in grayscale. So there we go. We have our HA image here, auto stretch with control A. O3, uh, because the bare matrix has um, one red pixel, two green, and one blue. For O3, it's captured in green and blue. So we will do two-thirds of the green plus one-third of the blue, so we don't have to rescale the result. So that's green channel, two-thirds, blue channel, one-third, oops, and create a new image, O3, grayscale. Apply that to the narrowband data and auto stretch, and we have our O3. Now these still have background that need to be extracted, so I'll use ABE. Again, just trying to do it nice and quick. All right, we are ready to combine. Go to Scripts, Utilities, and NBRGB Combination. Now this gives you a preview here and one here. You pick your RGB, pick your narrowband data. I'm going to do HOO. Uh, L Extreme is seven nanometers on all the uh, band passes, and in this script, if you hit OK, you get a black black window. You have to push NB RGB for it to actually do the calculations, where it'll go off and do some pretty interesting math behind the scenes for you, doing line emission calculations and then linear fitting all the generated images to each other and combining them into the final image which we're going to see momentarily and hit OK and we are done. Now I'm just going to control zero bring that up and um, going to lay these two over top of each other and then using control page down we can see this is the combined image pretty decently strong signal in the nebula and that's the original RGB so we've boosted it quite a bit and from here, take your combined image and process it as you want. Uh, thanks a lot.